So you're looking to create an e-commerce website to start selling your product or service. Well, I've got good news for you because you do not need to know any code. It doesn't have to be difficult or daunting. In fact, in a matter of minutes, you'll be able to create one of these websites to start selling your product or service. And you'll also be able to edit and make your website on your phone. So let's get to it. If you're looking to start an online business or grow your existing business, one of the best ways to do it is to have online presence. And the way to do it is to have a website. All right, to start creating your website, the first thing you need to understand is what you actually need. The first thing you're going to need is a web host. A web host is a data center. It's where your files, your data, your website, your themes, your plugins, all that is stored and they will host it for you. The second thing you need to understand is a domain name. So a domain name is simply www.yourdomain.com. You'll be able to choose your domain as long as it's available and the extension depends on its availability. But we'll run through these two in this video. Now with a multitude of web hosts out there, which one do I recommend and which one should you go with? Well, the one I recommend is called Hostinger. Hosting is not only great for its uptime and reliability because you want your website to be up and running all the time, but you also get great customer service that's 24 seven. So whenever you have a question or need some technical support, then they're there to help whatever questions you may have. They're also affordable starting at $2.49 per month, but let's run through some of its pricing and plans. If you use the link in the description below, you will land on this page where you'll get a discount on their pricing and plans. So by going here, you click on claim deal. With hosting it, you're going to get a free domain name. So that'll be yourdomain.com or whatever extensions available. You also get unlimited bandwidth, free SSL for security, and you'll be able to start up to 100 websites whenever you need it. Of course, you get e-commerce integration, which is what we're going to talk about in this video, and there's 0% transaction fees. And what I really love about hosting it is it's drag and drop editor and website builder, which I'll show you. You simply drag and drop. So whatever you see, you can edit. We'll go ahead and click on add to cart. That'll take you to the full pricing and plans page where you can choose a period. But let's say you're going to go ahead with the 48 months plan that comes down to just $2.49 per month. So really affordable if you look at it from that perspective and scrolling down, you'll see the total and the plan discount you have existing. Now, if you go down, you'll see have a coupon. Click that once and enter the coupon code Aurelius. I'll put it down right here so you can see how to spell it. Now that it's applied, you can confirm this by going up and you'll see now it's come down to just $2.24 per month, of course, on the 48 months plan. So simply fill the rest of the details and check out. Once you've checked out, you'll land on a page that looks like this and we're going to click on start now. From here, we're going to create a new website. And by the way, you can migrate your existing website if it's hosted somewhere else and hosting it is able to help you every step of the way if you're doing so. But let's go ahead, we'll create a new website. And it's going to ask you, select a platform. Do you want to use hosting as AI website builder or WordPress? In this case, we are going to harness the power of hosting as AI builder because it's the fastest and easiest way to get our website up and running. So I'll go ahead, click that and click on select. All right, remember you get a free domain name. So this is where we can claim our free domain name. We'll click on select. And this is where we can enter our desired domain name. In this tutorial, I'm going to use a hypothetical business and brand, and that is Organic Candles by myself. So Candles by Aurelius, and I'll search for a .com if available and click on search. And bingo, domain is available. So we'll go ahead and continue. If you didn't find your one, then simply reword it, maybe name it something else, but put some thought into this because it will be your URL. We'll click on continue. Confirm your contact details and then finish your registration. Next, this is where the fun begins because we are going to start making our website. So we're going to let AI create our website in minutes and we'll click on start creating. Enter your brand name. So this is your business name, your company name, what have you. As mentioned, I'm going to be selling organic candles. So it's called Candles by Aurelius and we'll select website type. It will be an online store. 
However, if you do have other intentions of creating your website and let's say you're only creating a blog, you can choose one of these. Essentially, this will help the AI build your website better and you'll get a better result. Next, what you're going to want to do is fill in a description of your project or brand or business. And the more descriptive you are here, the better, uh, because this again will allow and provide the AI with more information and then it will use your description to provide content on your actual website. So right here, what I'm going to do is enter my description. I've simply copied and pasted this. And below you'll see an indicator showing that it's a great description. Obviously, if you are vague, then it'll show that it could be improved or better. So if I take this out, you'll see that great effort, almost a great description. So try and write a bit more. You're given up to 700 characters anyway. Otherwise, if you need any assistance, click on see example, but I simply generated this using chat GPT. Let's go ahead and create our website. And now you'll see the process and exactly what it's doing. And ta-da, in a matter of minutes, you'll see your website all completed. Of course, this can now be edited, but right off the bat, take a look at it. We've got our header with links. We've got our shopping cart a hero image right here, some features and benefits, and of course our shop links. We've got testimonials as well as a contact form and a newsletter integration here and contact information once again with socials. The best way to get started is to actually follow the site setup checklist. And this is going to help you follow some guidelines and things that you could do to personalize and customize your website. Let me first run through some of its features and options and how to go about using the website editor. On the left, you'll see some tools. The first being adding elements. So you're able to drag and drop certain elements such as text, you've got buttons, add to bag buttons, we've got images, a gallery, adding a video such as a YouTube video, we've got different shapes, a map, an Instagram feed, contact form, subscribe form, social icons, embed code, and product search. Right here, we've got our pages and navigation where you can delete and add pages if you wish to do so. So let's say you do want to add an about page. This is where you can do it by clicking on add page. On the left is where you can customize the website style. So specific colors for different elements of your website. Your online store and e-commerce features are all right here with the bag icon. And this is where you can add all your products, delete them, manage them, provide links to them. On the left, you've got some pretty cool AI tools such as a logo maker, an AI writing assistant, as well as the heat mapping tool. Next, you've got analytics. So if you do want to dive deep in terms of who your visitors are, where they're from, what browsers they're using, things like that, that's all in analytics. At the top, you'll be able to switch between the different views of the sidebar right there. And at the top as well, you've got desktop view as well as uh, mobile view so that you can optimize your web page accordingly. However, right off the bat, it looks pretty mobile friendly already, so no huge uh, adjustments required apart from let's say the header right there which overlaps let's continue because what i want to show you now is how to add certain elements so we'll click on elements and let's say we want to add a youtube video in fact what i'll do now is open up my phone and show you how to actually use your phone to add elements and other things and simply edit your website on mobile all right on mobile log into your hosting account go to your websites and then look for the website that you just created and we'll click on edit website and here you'll see your mobile friendly website where you can start editing anything you see so let's say you're hitting right here and i can say handcrafted candles for all or whatever you want to go and edit but you get the idea, same with the images, you click that, you can also edit that or replace it and even drag and drop anything you see. So if you wanna rearrange things, you can do so. I'll rearrange this. And what I wanna do is uh, show you how to add an element. 
in, in particular a YouTube video. So what I will do is on the bottom right corner, you'll see that purple icon. Bring that up, click on add element, and then choose whatever element you want. But in this example, I'm gonna choose video. That will add a placeholder video like so. It's not in the right position, uh, but what I wanna do is expand this particular section like so using the uh, drag icon and then go back and then rearrange this somewhere here. Okay, uh, it's not the place I would normally put it, but um, let's say you've got like a video that you wanna put right at the top of your website. You can do so in replacement of something like this. And let's go back because what I'll do is click that once, click on the settings or gear icon, and now you're given the video link field to fill in. At this stage, what I'll do is head to YouTube and then find the video that I want to copy and share. So I'll go ahead, click on more and click on share, click on copy link, head back to the video settings and replace it with the new video and right there is the video that I want. Of course, this is just one of my videos on my channel. And let's do one more. Let's go ahead and add some text. So we'll add text somewhere here. Uh, let's say here, we'll show a product demo or something like that. And we'll make this centered like so. And I could very well choose a different styling and different headings, but We'll stick to heading three. I'll move the video down a notch and make a bit of room. Again, just showing you that, yes, this website uh, editor and builder can be edited on mobile. So I'll drag the product demo down a notch as well and give it a bit more room like so. And that should auto save right there. So with that, let's go back to our desktop and edit and continue there. If you do want to add a new section, let's say above this sustainable section, we can click on add section and there's a heap of different sections to choose from. So for an about page, you can choose different sections that are related to an about page. You've got different photo gallery layouts. We've got a contact form, footers, headlines and different sections like so different image arrangements, Instagram feed. So it'll pick up the feed and the images from your Instagram account and much more. But let's say you wanna add an online store. We will simply click on online store section and choose our layout. Let's choose product list. And then that will add an actual section for our products list. And right here, I actually want it maybe below the sustainable section. So what I will do is I'll click on section and right here, we'll click on move uh, down. So clicking once we will move it down a section like so. Let's now go ahead and configure e-commerce on our website. Look on the left, click on online store and you'll see the placeholder products. Simply ignore that. What we're going to do is click on manage products or manage store because what you're going to have to do first is to name your store. I'm just going to say Aurelius's store, click on continue, select a country, I'm from Australia and choose your currency, whatever currency you wanna sell in. I'll just choose US dollars, click on continue. Before you start adding products, what you're going to wanna do is add online payments so that you can actually start collecting payments. From here, you're given a couple of choices, including PayPal, if you've got a PayPal account, connect it up. Alternatively, you can also connect your Stripe account. So if you do have a Stripe merchant account, feel free to add it there. There are other options too, like manual payments, but in most cases, you'll just integrate PayPal and Stripe. So go ahead and fill your payment methods before actually adding products. And the next step is to add our products. We can click on add products and we are selling physical products. However, digital products are supported too. So that if someone does purchase your digital products, such as an ebook, a printable or a template, you can provide that download link right after and instantly to your customers. But let's go ahead, we'll click on physical and drag our images right here. I'm gonna drag and drop a couple of these images that I found from Unsplash. Again, hypothetical example, and I do not own a candle business, but let's go ahead and fill the rest. 
Fill the rest of the details in the fields. You don't have to exactly put in other details like the subtitle and ribbon, but the additional information if you do want to offer it. Of course, the more detailed you are, the better. But I simply copied and pasted this chat GPT written uh, description over here. And do you want to add to bag button for the uh, product? Yes, we'll enable it. Now price it. I'll just put in $20. You can add discounted price and SQU code as well as the weight. There are options as well you can add. So different like let's say sizes and colors, especially if you're selling merch and t-shirts, things like that. But um, the next thing is categories. So if you do have a lot of products and you want to categorize them into different sections. So let's say organic and non-organic or uh, whatever categories based on your products. But I'm going to stick to these and click on save. And you'll also see the placeholder products, which you can simply delete if you do not want them or use them and simply edit the existing details. Once you've added your products, you can go back to edit your website by clicking on edit website so that you can take a look at the changes and seeing what your shop and products look like. Scroll down and you'll see right there, we've got the 100% organic candles product that we just added. If we click once, we can see more details. This is the description that I added and people can start adding to cart. We can see different images in the carousel as well. If people go to your shop link, that will take them to the full list of products that you currently have available for sale. So this is more of a dedicated page that you can uh, edit and you'll see all your products here. You can modify the layout of your products listing by clicking on the actual section, clicking on edit section. And right here, you've got layout and you can set it to left, right. How many columns do you want? Let's say only two, that kind of looks better. In the case of these products, there's only four anyway, so there's two and two. You can also change the different styling of the section, uh, pagination, as well as add to bag button. Do you wanna show the button right there? You can do so, so they can add it right away if they know uh, what they're buying um, instead of going to the product uh, listing or the description. But that's that, and that's the e-commerce integration right there on your website. And, how to easily add one. Again, I really love Hostinger because all you need to do is click on a page that uh, is on your website, let's say shop, and then you can edit that page specifically or go into the contact page and edit that. Otherwise you can always go to pages and navigation and clicking on either of the pages that you wanna edit, or you can also add a page right there. Other things to note about hosting as website builder is let's say you aren't really happy with the template that it created or whatnot. So you can always go back to the drop down here and then create with AI. That'll take you back to the prompts where you fill in all the details and that'll regenerate a new a website template for you. Otherwise you can choose a template and then you can choose a category. Let's say you're in fashion or photography or technology. You can choose one of the options right there and then you'll be able to select any of the templates and then edit right away. Once you're ready to publish your website so that the world can see, all you need to do is click on go live. Otherwise you can preview it first, that's fine, but we'll go ahead and click on go live and then click on go live once more. And now your site is live. We can view our website by clicking on view your site. And hooray, Candles by Aurelis is now up and I can show the world what I have to offer and what they can purchase right on my website. And there you go, friends. As you saw, in a matter of minutes, you're able to create a full-blown e-commerce website ready to sell your products and services. Link to hosting it will be in the description box below as well as that coupon code Aurelis so that you can save even more. But go ahead, there's a sale going on right now. Take advantage of it if you do want to start your website today. Thanks so much for watching and if this was helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.